Sarasota is known for its bright siesta key beaches, booming music, and thriving art culture. For some living there, though, the darker side of all these attractions is the traffic and the congestion. Eight on your side's Christine McClarty is joining us tonight to show us what's being done to make things just a little bit better for people living there. Hey Keith, we're in Sarasota St. Armand Circle and as you can see from these cars that are nearly dead stop behind me, this is one of the most congested traffic areas in Tampa Bay. A master plan is in the works to get these cars off the road. <laughs> During the tourist season, March through April, an extra million people call the Sarasota area home. Traffic is really horrendous. The traffic has gotten a lot worse. Traffic is definitely getting worse. Jennifer Provo lives on the mainland and works at the Columbia Restaurant on St. Armand Circle. So when we're coming off the bridge, it just gets backed up. And so then it backs up all the way out to here. You can see it. It takes me about 15 minutes to get to work, but it takes me about 45 to get home. Almost everyone who lives here agrees traffic is an issue, and the city is working on it. They're on phase three of their master transportation plan called Sarasota in motion. They're pouring concrete as we speak on the Coon Key multi-use recreational trail. Working on biking, walking, and jogging trails with other plans to relieve the growing pains. We're doing a water taxi feasibility study. Water taxis would be incredible. Changes being considered include water taxis, streetscape projects like adding lighting and landscaping, shaded sidewalks with structures and trees, carpooling options like commute connectors, and adding crossing guards to St. Armand Circle. This will help move traffic efficiently and also make sure pedestrians are safe. Two crossing guards strategically placed entering and exiting St. Armand Circle. Not everyone is convinced it'll work. That should be interesting. I'm probably not a fan of, uh, of permanent crossing guards. A study of the traffic guard system will take place at certain days and times from mid-March to mid-April. The city says a few easy things you can do to help ease traffic are carpool and check the traffic on your phone before leaving your house. There are two public open houses on March 10th where you can give your opinion of the master traffic plan. For a link to that, go to the WFLA app on your phone. Right. Live in Sarasota, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side. All Keith? right. Thank you, Christine. And coming up tonight on News Channel 8 at 6, 8 on your side, Stacey De Silva will break down the changing lifestyle in Polk County. And, of course, every year, tens of thousands of people move to Tampa Bay, and you can check out all of our Tampa Bay Growing Pains reports on the WFLA app or at WFLA.com.